Hello there. Now I'm going to teach you how to sign in to GPT-4 and GPT-4 is currently available as of now. Let's sign on it, okay? So how to do that, please open any browser you have. On my end, it's going to be Safari. So once you're in Safari, I want you to search um, GPT-4 as I have right here. Let's just search it again for you guys. So GPT-4. Perfect. Now just click on the very first part or the very first result that you have. Um, GT3 4 is here. It is a platform that you should be seeing. It has a uh, different kinds of um, information here. Okay, so again, a quick preview on GPT4. It's an AI that you have input um, information. It will give you an output that you decide. For example, this one, as you can see, um, a customer inputted Andrew is free from 11:30 p.m. Something like that. It's information about his employees and availability. And the output is he made or the AI made a descriptive or an exact schedule for those three employees. And based on their availability, there is a 30 minute window where all three of them are available. That's what ChatGPT made. ChatGPT made or look for the exact availability of those three employees right there. Okay, so that's how it works. You can e also make or input here that make me a resume something like that here here are my informations and GPT will give you the exact resume you have or information that you want okay so moving on just scroll down all the way down until you find this one this two options right here try on GTP plus or join API waitlist just click on API waitlist right here so it's technically still a waitlist click your first name last name information email company name of course gpt is for businessmen or uh, business owners something like that so you need how to have a company or you need to be employed organization id this is the reason why you need to be in a company why because you need to click on account sensing right here once you click on it it will redirect you to a different platform where it will ask for different kinds of information just input the uh, one that you receive from your hr or your human resources department and you're gonna have that organizational id Moving forward, use your first name, last name, email, company name, and the one that you received from your HR right here, okay? Again, take note, please use a valid email because ChatGPT or GPT-4 will give you a code or verification code as a uh, website usually do for verification purposes to enable or to create your account. So that's how you use or sign in to ChatGPT-4. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.